When x lies between 0 and 1, x square lies between 0 and 1 as well and therefore the value of integral part of x square in this range is equal to 0. When x lies between 1 and square root of 2, x square will lie between 1 and 2 and the value of integral part of x square is equal to 1 in this range. And when x lies between square root of 2 and 1 and a half, x square will lie between 2 and 2.25 and the value of integral part of x square in this range is equal to 2. The given integral 0 to 1.5 integral part of x square dx can therefore be broken into three parts. The first part is the integral from 0 to 1 of integral part of x square dx. The next part is integral 1 to root 2 of integral part of x square dx and the third term is integral square root of 2 to 1.5 of integral part of x square dx. Plugging in the value of integral part of x square in each of these terms, the first term is integral 0 to 1, 0 times dx. The second term is integral 1 to square root of 2 of 1 times dx. And the third term is integral root 2 to 1.5, 2 times dx. The first term is equal to 0, the second term is equal to root 2 minus 1 and the third term is equal to 2 times 1.5 minus root 2. This simplifies to root 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 root 2 which is equal to 2 minus root 2 which is the required answer.